Oh, what is going on, Seven Tree Gang? Welcome back to another video. Today, we've got a special one for y'all. I'm gonna be talking about blow by on your diesels. Is it good? Is it bad? Should you be worried if you have blow by on your trucks? Right now, I'm gonna be talking about my 7.3 Power Stroke. It does have blow by, guys, and I'm gonna show you guys how to check for it. I'm not an expert on this by no means, so if you guys know more than me, of course, leave it in the comments down below. Been driving this truck for about three years now, so I do know the ropes of the 7.3, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to test for it. So I'm pulling in my spot right now, and we'll catch you guys here in a second. Stay tuned. Good. Door. We gotta start off with the hood lock, guys. Basically, got a hood lock to where nobody can break into my 7.3 because as you guys know, you guys can start the 7.3 from up back in there. Just one extra little whew, layer of protection. This thing kind of gets like a bitch though because it pops my arm off every time I try to open it. Open that fucker up, pull it on down, and it doesn't take but five seconds to open her up if you know the code. All right, guys, somebody's showing you guys how to test your blow by on the 7.3. It's a little bit windy this morning, so I do apologize about that. But 7.3 here, we got the whole nine yards. I'm gonna be showing you guys, I'm gonna check the coolant. Coolant's still good, so everything's good with the place. I just replaced the coolant level, so just making sure everything's good. Trying to explain to you what blow by is the best I can, because I've done some couple Google searches and I've experienced blow by in the past and I kind of know what it is to a, to a little bit. So if you guys know more than me, of course, leave it in the comments. But let's dive right into it here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and we got to start off the 7.3 in order to test it out and be going over if it's good or bad for the engine so hop into here oh shit guys my air filter was actually clogged as you guys saw when i just hit that i hope you guys could have saw that right there it like shot back but my air filter was a little clogged so i'm going to check that too i want to get a cold air intake however my dad who's a 7.3 enthusiast here he told me not to get a cold air intake because it lets a lot of dust in and stuff i'm not contemplating getting a cold air intake i might get the five inch exhaust hit first just depending on what i should get leave it in the comments what i should get first and i should go buy it let's get into her here how the smoke's coming out there, that's a blow-by. And you just basically put it over. I mean, it's not that bad. But usually what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to pop up and down. It's not really even that bad. It's really just vibrating off the back. Uh, but as you guys can see, that smoke right there, that's a lot of the blow-by. Close that up. Smoke coming out of there. Hey, not a whole lot of blow-by. Uh, some people have it to where guys, like, you flip it over and put it on there, and this thing's, like, shooting up and down pretty bad, but really it's not even shooting up that bad. It's mainly just a little bit of smoke, so uh, let me tell you guys what blow-by is, pretty much. That's how you test for it. I believe that's one good way to test for if you have blow-by or not, is to flip that oil thing over, and if it bounces up and down, you have pretty bad blow-by. Installed a blow-by tube down there where a bunch of the blow-by comes out, so that way it doesn't shoot out into the engine. Let me show y'all guys that. It's right up under here, guys, this little tube right here. Uh, you can see, that's a blow-by hose, I believe. I don't think this is stock. I think this is aftermarket. But yeah, it allows all the blow-by to escape out of this and uh, doesn't keep it in the engine for very long. Yeah, guys, so that is how you check for blow-by. As you guys can tell, I don't have a whole lot because the oil thing's not really bounced up and down. I've seen some videos, guys, where they flip that oil thing over and that thing's just like shooting up and down like crazy. Definitely want to get that checked if you have it really bad. I'm going to shut the engine off so I can talk to you guys for a little bit. Yeah, stay tuned. So when I looked it up, it basically is when the, the O-rings on the like gaskets in the engine, there's basically leaks everywhere in the, in the engine um, because my truck is so old and I, this is the original engine. I haven't changed it. It's got 475,000 miles on it. So original engine in it, it does have leaks and basically the blow by is the extra gas that escapes um, into the engine whenever it doesn't actually go out the exhaust. So it's not good to have blow by and it actually kind of decreases your fuel mileage. It's a common thing to happen. It's not a bad thing. It won't destroy your engine, but it'll just drop your fuel mileage a little bit and uh, it can be bad in long-term perspective. I thought I'd have a lot more actually guys since my truck is so old. I honestly thought my freaking oil thing would be bobbing up and down like crazy. If there is smoke coming out, which that's normal. A little bit of blow by is not too, too bad. When I would get worried guys is if your oil thing is like really popping up and down and you have a lot of blow by um, let me know in the comments if there's any other way you can check for blow by I haven't done that much in-depth research on it I just kind of wanted to make a video to show y'all what kind of I'm experiencing when it comes to the blow by so I heard a five inch that five inch backpiping system does help you get better fuel mileage I'm not too sure about that though and a cold air intake also helps you get more fuel mileage however 
the cold air intake guys actually will hurt the engine in the long term because it allows more air to, air to be sucked in and if more air is sucked in more dust particles get sucked in and so that's going to destroy your engine in the long term which is not really what i want to do because i'm trying to get this truck to a million miles i almost have 500,000 on it that being said though i got about another 20 years of driving on this thing until it really really blows up unless i decide to blow it up myself but which i'm getting there with this tuner because this tuner is actually i can really rip it with this tuner i want to make a quick video for you talking about that on my truck because i've told a lot of people i do have blow by and they're like whoa what the hell like why do you have blow by like that's bad for your engine it's kind of a natural occurring thing especially for a truck this old guys don't be worried if you guys got a 7.3 that's older and you have a little bit of blow by don't be worried about it if you have a lot of blow by i'd be a little bit worried something's going on with your engine but it's a little bit of blow by really nothing i bet you i probably did, would have a lot more blow by guys if i ripped it around town for an hour and then came back and did the same thing that was really a cold start from yesterday so it hasn't really warmed up the engine hasn't really warmed up and i think that's why i, had, I didn't have a whole lot of blow by i still had some smoke come out of the engine but that was that little test right there was just the truck sitting for 24 hours and then me starting it up again and then giving it about a minute or two to run and warm up and stuff so i could really do an honest test if i ripped it around town for a little bit and then check the blow by i might be doing that in the next video let me know what i can do to my truck guys i added a hydro chip tuner i added the straight pipe i added the bigger tires got the mirrors got the bullet antenna i got everything i'm not too sure about the cold air intake i've heard some pretty bad things about those on a lot of vehicles putting in air particles it really doesn't do what they say they were doing i've seen i've been watching my I've been doing my research especially if i'm going to spend that kind of money on a cold air intake i've been doing my research on it i really want that blue one that that cannon the blue cannon those look really cool and there's also some other ones that are really cool but i've heard some bad things about them let me know in the comments if you guys are running them how long you guys have been running the aftermarket intakes and if it's been doing good for your 7.3 that's kind of really going to be the determining factor on if i buy one or not for sure for sure going to get the five inch mbrp exhaust as you guys know i do all the work pretty much myself i don't really like to take it to a professional other than the straight pipe i did take that one to a professional but i basically installed the mirrors myself installed the bullet antenna myself installed the hydro chip tuner myself oh i do need to do a bed and spray liner on the back there that thing is completely shot as you guys saw one of my videos i did a whole bed truck bed and spray liner in the back there didn't really even finish it out because i ran out of paint but it kind of yeah it's, it's destroyed i do a lot of hard work with the truck and when i put stuff in the back it just chips it all up probably gonna do like three or four or five coats on that I'll show y'all guys that how it looks now i mean i probably did this guys like a year or two ago but as you guys can see it is just chipped to shit and best looking bed and spray liner i mean the only thing that looks somewhat decent is the fucking truck bed and that looks like shit anyways i mean and maybe the sides there but uh, that's a horrible spray job i probably just need to take it to a professional guys and really have them do it right anyways though guys that's kind of it for the blow by test that's kind of it for this power stroke central video thank you guys for watching if you guys want to subscribe don't have to if you don't want to but if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe if you want to watch the next power stroke central video it'll be up here or down there and uh peace out fellas thank you guys for watching